<laughs> What's up, modern stutters? Whoa, I told you they were friendly. What's up? Another question I get asked frequently is about what breed of chickens should I have? Well, I'll talk about the Bodrock chicks because that's what I have. And I'll tell you why we've chosen them and what other breeds we've had. At the end of the video, we're gonna be announcing who wins, what falls from the sky. Hello, Mr. Rooster. Hopefully it's not too noisy in here for you can hear me. So the couple of breeds we've had, we've had Americanas, however you want to pronounce them, the um, Easter egg layers, the, these little dinosaurs are eating me alive in here, we'll try to make this quick. They were nice, it was pretty, pretty neat to have green and blue eggs, but then on the other hand, they didn't lay very well. We've had the White Rocks, they've been a good breed, but they're not very hardy in the winter time. We got the Bod Rocks. This is our third time raising them. I'm getting eaten alive by the Bod Rocks, but they're very, very, very hardy breed. They do really well in the winter for us, and they're supposedly a dual purpose breed. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, why I say supposedly is we've never raised them for meat. This summer we will be, so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. And we'll keep you up to date. We're gonna be raising some Cornish Cross and the Bard Rock side by side. We'll be doing a comparison to seeing how, I know they'll take longer, but food, feed comparison and taste and all that good stuff throughout the season. But, I mean, they are eating me alive, but besides that, these little T-Rexes, they're very docile and friendly. I don't know if you believe that, but they are. Like the rooster we have here, Say hello, Mr. Rooster. I mean, I can go up and pet them and pick them up just fine. Right, Mr. Rooster? The chicks are very friendly and docile. They're good to have the kids around. They do scratch and peck. I think ours, we have ours out on pasture eating bugs and stuff. So they get a little bit more wildly because they're used to scratching the grass, getting bugs and all that good stuff. So they, they search for their food and we've kind of raise them that way and we're looking for a chicken that does that whoa i told you they were friendly what's up see yeah see it's kind of like a parakeet baby um one of the reasons why we like them is for in pasture they'll eat the bugs the grubs all the good stuff and the other part is is if you have them out and you want to have them free range by your house they'll eat the ticks on you for you I don't like it. Well, there we go. Just don't peck my face. Say hey to the camera. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo yeah, so they are very friendly as you can see. She's jumped up here on her own. They'll eat your ticks around the house, fleas, all the good bugs, grubs from your lawn. Keep them out of your garden. I mean, they're just entertaining. Look at that. Would a dog do that to you? That's kind of almost like a goat. I got a parrot for a chicken who lays me eggs. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Don't get too close. What the heck? I mean, what gets more friendly than that? I got a chicken on my head. What? Hey. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, now you get out of here. <sighs> Why would you not want to have chicken? Look at all that entertainment. But, so we really like the breed. They're friendly as you can see. They lay great eggs. We, now that it's springtime again, early springtime, we're getting, we have 12 layers and we're getting between 10 and 12 eggs a day. And it just started out. And they've just started picking up in their laying season. We're gonna be going picking up some Icelandic chicks this weekend. We're gonna vlog that trip for you and take you along on the adventure. And we'll let you meet the lady who has these chickens. She's a really good friend of ours. You, some of you guys might already know her. But go ahead and right now go ahead and look up Icelandic chicks on Google. And then leave in the comments below what you think. Have you ever heard of them? What kind of chickens do you raise? Would you like to raise Icelandic chicks? I'd love to hear in the comments. 
So for a wrap up on the question, what kind of chicken should I raise? Is raise a chicken that you like, that you think is pretty, and that serves the purpose of what you and your family are looking for. And I wanted to congratulate our Florida's garden for winning What Falls From The Sky. Go ahead and contact us by our email. If you go to our YouTube channel and click on About Us, you'll see our email address there. Go ahead and email us with your shipping information and we'll send it out. And if we don't hear from you by April 14th, we will be drawing another winner. So make sure you email us and we're looking forward to sending that book out. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow. See you guys later.